It's 5 a.m. 10 past 5. I've been up since 3. I just can't friggin' sleep. Can't sleep here anymore. So I decided it'd just be better to get up instead of tossing and turning in bed and come check on things a little. It's been raining for two days. I was really counting on a third day of rain so I could stay in the city in my own space. But it's pretty cleared up today. The sun's about to uh, break the horizon, illuminate the clouds behind me. So that should be pretty nice. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long day. Um, I'm gonna try to get as much done as possible over the next two days so I can maybe head back to the city after that and get some time to myself, get some stuff done there. But yeah, I gotta solve this sleeping issue. <sighs> sleeping in my parents' place is just not good. So I'm gonna have to think about that today. I'm just gonna check things out, see how the transplants took to all the rain. And I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm friggin' starving. Uh, yep. Feel like garbage. It's three thirty. <laughs> it's three thirty. I'd like to get some work done back in our blueberry patch. Just uh, removing all the branches that we cut and pruned over the spring so that I could pass with a mower and start string trimming between the plants, but I have to get through the transplanting first. I've done a lot, but I've just got two flats to go and rain's got me inside. It's still raining. I can't believe this. This is stupid. All week, for like five days, they were calling for rain today. And then yesterday, they called it all off. It was supposed to be sunshine, maybe a chance of a shower. So I changed my plans and came down. Didn't sleep last night try to get work done and then it, it, it's raining and on top of it I just checked the weather now and there's a hail warning which would essentially kill anything that I put in the ground up to date so yeah I'm just gonna wait for this to pass and hopefully I can get I still have peppers in the field Shit. yeah Hopefully I can just get something done on <laughs> sleep. Uh. My day is over!
holy shit. I just got done running around in a lightning storm with a shovel like an idiot. The rain came down so fast and just constant. And what happens is all our fields are on slopes because we live in a hilly area. And as you work the land, as you seed and make beds, it pulls earth on, on either side. So there's always a mound at the bottom, which usually gets worked out over the year of, of driving on it. But I just did all the work and seeded. So it was still there. And so what was happening is the entire field was draining on the bottom, but it wasn't, it wasn't properly um, being drained out into the ditches. So that means all the seeds that I seeded were being flooded and the transplants that we planted were, were going to be underwater. So there was a quick break in the storm because I couldn't go out. It was like, it was, it was insane, but there was a quick break still raining and all that. And with a shovel, because that's broken. If you remember that, we got the part, but it's not quite fixed yet. And that's our, that's our tractor with the front loader. So I was out there with a friggin' shovel going, running over an acre and a half digging trenches out so that our seeds don't get soaked and washed away and all the transplants. We had, there was one field where the entire road, our entire driveway was draining into the ditch and the ditch was overflowing into the field. So that was just bad news, but I think I got it. And now it looks like there's another one rolling in. So I'm glad I got those trenches. This should all properly drain out now. I shouldn't have to worry about anything, but these, these storms are just, they just keep coming. This is unbelievable and unexpected. Ugh. I caught up on my sleep, so that's good. I feel like so much better, a little less delirious. Um, yeah, so after the rain, it escalated pretty quickly. I uh, ended up just going in. It never hailed, so that's good. We didn't lose anything, and I managed to get all the flooding under control before uh, the seeds got washed away. Uh, but yesterday was such a nice day. It was sun, rained a bit, but there was a lot of wind. It was so windy and sunny, so there's no bugs. So I took advantage and we got the rest of the transplants in. Um, got a few things to seed today and then that's it for that. Uh, basically just transplanting our, our personal garden and personal garden of my parents too, which is just as important. I mean, we don't pull any money from, from those crops, but it's our food. That's how, that's how, well, that's how I managed to, <laughs> to not work or to work as, as little as I possibly can in shitty uh, call centers and jobs in the city so we do a lot of preserves we can our tomatoes we have beans uh, we freeze peas and, and corn and we have squashes that last all the way till spring so we're not spending a lot on food uh, we could be as self-sufficient as we can and it permits me to to not sell my time to to just to earn a living so um so yeah so we did that it's really good gardens in we're right on pace with previous years i checked our notes and pretty much to the day that the garden goes in is uh it's good it's um so i got that done at the end of the day also i managed to steal some time and go back to the blueberries and just remove some of the brush that we did there i'm going to hopefully finish well not finish but hopefully uh finish my day in the blueberries as well doing the same thing uh just hauling out all the old brush that we didn't have time to remove in the spring because uh yeah in the spring like to do blueberry pruning there's a short window of time where you can do it where it won't cause harm to the plants and that's in the um in the early spring so we started at the end of march and did all the month of april and in the end uh, when the buds were coming out and the buds were starting to swell and starting to open you want to stop pruning but i really wanted to get a section done so instead of hauling all the branches out and burning them like i'd done for other rows we uh we just left it on the ground so we'll you know we'll deal with this later so this is later and i'm dealing with it now unfortunately though you always pay for things. You always pay for your for your laziness. So now the grasses have grown up through the branches that are on the ground and we kind of have to rip them out a bit uh, to get at them, but it doesn't matter. I'm just happy we got it done. So yeah, so I'm going to hopefully do that. I'm going to burn a pile because there's a lot of material we took out. Um, going to get to it. It's raining now on and off, but I really don't care. Uh, so hopefully I'll cap off my day and 
go back to the city tonight, and I'll be back, uh, I'll be back in a day to, uh, I don't know, <laughs> do other stuff.